Well, happy spring. I guess it's springtime. Uh, we're sitting around. It's Thursday morning. What is it? I guess first week of March still. You know, I'm still having problems. Uh, surgery went well. Oh, wait a minute. That's what I forgot. I'm tight. I'm, this is all about. I'm changing planning for 2020. I have had a need for a certain type of wrist surgery for many years. And it finally got to the point I couldn't use my hand anymore. And so I had the surgery February 24th. The result is I'm going to have to do a readjustment of all my planning that I've made for 2020 and 2021, including retirement. So today I'm at the commissary at the academy, Naval Academy, and get a little grocery shopping done for the first time in a couple of weeks. Uh, the surgery went well. I find out tomorrow how bad it is. I get a new cast. As you can see, that is not nice. That, that locks my hand. Uh, this all occurred back in the early 70s. Okay, so there's the hand. I've been recovering. It's coming along. Paint's down to the point I can use it again. What we want to do is replan how I do 2020, 2021, including the options for the boats. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, much of it has to do with being single-handed, literally single-handed for most of a year. So I'm going to be taking care of this. I'm going to be taking care of things and I'll talk to you in a bit as I come up with more stuff and shopping at the commissary and the BX. Gail and I are down at Bert, Birch Haven's boat yard. This is where I planned, and I had originally planned to bring one of Ventura here for an overhaul uh, later this year, probably late summer into fall. So that is going to be replanned. Sisu needs her engine rebuilt. That was supposed to have been done by now down on uh, down there in the York River. That's not going to happen. We've got to replan that. The hit of having one wing out of action, having only one arm, one hand to work with, is immense. It's a big problem. So over time, uh, I'm going to get this worked out. I've got to sit down with project and reschedule everything I can. It's not easy. It's not a fun time. But overall, this had to be done. There was no way not to get it done. And you know, I've always known that it was going to take time to fix. So what I'm going to be doing is right now just looking around here, dreaming about being out on the water. Gail's having fun. She's just, whoa, let's go back here, over here. This is good. On the water we go. So, yeah, this is calming. There's a airport nearby. Um, you can hear the planes coming overhead. So, that's nice. The boat yard is really nice here. Let's see how much what it looks like. The water is here is so nice. I had a friend who kept a boat here for a long time. Uh, I'd like to, but again the prices in this area are expensive. And also you know, I've got other things that I need to do. Now this boat yard you can work at. You can do your own work here, which is really handy. Oh man, just want to be out of the water. So I'll take a little short hop down here. They've rebuilt the fixed dock here. There isn't much of a tide at this point. It's a foot or two, just enough to say the water goes in and the water goes out. Seagulls are all excited for some reason. Boat yard's very busy. The temperature, the weather is conducive to getting the 
work crews out and redoing painting. You can glass in this, it's in the 50s now. So you can get out and glass, do some glass and paint work. And those of us who used to, oh, we used to go out in this weather because it was nice. It was beautiful weather to go out in. Down that way is, that's east part over there. Actually, it's all east part, but east part, Back Creek, very busy boatyard. Friendly people, they work with you on all sorts of things. And the sea of mass. That's cool. Um, other than that, it's, you know, I'm very, it takes a lot to say, okay, I'm going to have to delay life for a year. Because literally, I'm going to have a year with this thing pretty much out of action. A year of, I can't do much. Uh, I'm, I, I'm still on sick leave because there, we don't want to risk me doing something that damages the wrist. So immediately, well, soon I'll have a cast on, a permanent cast on it for a couple months, and then I'll get back into action. Over time, it'll strengthen, but for now, it's the frustration of spring and the itch of getting on the water and having fun. Consider when you take yourself out of action for a year, the impact is very significant on your life, your plans, your projects. And when you're getting to my age, a year means a lot more than it did when I was 20. So here we are. This is Fishing Creek. And over there is the Coast Guard Station, Annapolis Coast Guard Station. So I had to consider the impact of not doing something and suffering later on in my life, or doing something now, taking the hit, seeing what I can do to get done now and in the future. And by delaying a year, yes, that impacts 2020, but it impacts 2021 and 2022. Like I said, it impacts my retirement, it impacts the boat work. So I didn't take this lightly. I knew it had to be done. I had reached the point where the pain was too much. I was dropping things too much. I had no use of my right hand for a lot of projects. So do it now. There is the hope that once it's healed, it will be useful again in a capacity that I don't have or didn't have. I can tell you the pain and reduction is immediate. It's uh, tremendous la tremendous drop in the pain level from the arthritis and the bone dislocation and the badness. So overall, planning or replanning 2020 means replanning 2021 and not in the future. I look forward to sitting down with projects, sitting down with all my paperwork and thinking, okay, what can I do now? What's going to happen this year? And what's going to happen as I face the future? I know it's going to be good, uh, I feel better, I look better, and I think it will be better overall. So this is it, replanning 2020. Thank you for watching Buenaventura. Please click like and subscribe, and leave comments please, I enjoy your comments. Thank you.